So we're going to give a once over to our pilot pressure and volume control system. Again, out of the pressure accumulator system, we feed our manifold. That manifold has two valves that reduce the pressure. One is the pilot pressure, and we reduce whatever we are using in this one, 190, 200, or 210, depending on the system you have, we reduce to 40 bar in this one. That is a fixed pressure, 40 bar. And you can read it in the gauge, in the little port for the gauge over here, line up with the pilot pressure. In the bottom, you will see in the same line a hose that is going to go into the body of the pump that is for your pilot pressure. And the other side, so towards the edge is the pilot pressure. Towards the center, you're going to find the volume control. The volume control, you have another port to, to, con to check your pressure over here, and it will be an average of zero to 25 bar. When you got pressure in the system, 25 bar, you will be able to change the angle of the pump and get minimum volume. When you don't have pressure in the pump, the natural way of the pump to go is full flow, so going towards zero, you will have full volume. It's over here in the system, you control it or program with your remote, you can read the pressure in the back, and you have one hose over here that came out of the system, and in the new, in the new pumps, you will find a three port quarter of a turn valve. This is like a manual adjustment. If for any reason you lost control over the volume, you can use this one to look for that sweet spot when you can work. The four holes in this one is the difference of pressure for the pilot pressure and for the volume control to go back to tank. So under this block, you will have three lines. One is pressure in, two is pressures, one going to the regulator, the other one going to the body of the pump, and the fourth one is going for the differential to tank. This is in general what we have over here. When you are going to read your pressure, outside one, pilot pressure, inside one, volume control. And always you have to have pressure in the accumulator to be able to read it and adjust it. Thank you.